In this lesson, we're going to divide a fraction by an integer or another fraction. And we'll start off with 3 quarters divided by 2. We've got 3 quarters of a circle. We're going to split it in half, which is dividing by 2. And you can see you've got 3 segments within this half. 1, 2, 3. And each segment is 1 eighth of the entire circle. So you've got three eighths in total. Moving on, now we've got three quarters divided by one quarter. So we'll split, we want to see how many quarters go into the three quarters. And you can see three do. So three quarters divided by a quarter is simply three. And for the next question, three quarters divided by one eighth. So you can see each of these sectors is an eighth. So how many eighths go into the three quarters? Well, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So three quarters divided by one eighth is six. Moving on to question D. So now we're going to do two thirds divided by four. So here you've got two thirds of an entire circle. And we're gonna split this into four equal sectors. So each one is one sixth of the entire circle. So two thirds divided by four is going to be one six of the circle. Two thirds divided by one third. So we're gonna split the shape up into thirds and you can see you've got two thirds. So one, two. The question F, we have two thirds divided by one half. So here, you've got one half of the entire circle plus the sector left over. So of the other half, this sector is one third. So two thirds divided by one half is going to be one and one third or four over three. Now we're going to move on to the written method and we'll just do a couple of questions. We'll do three quarters divided by one quarter. Now we can't really divide with fractions, but what we can do is multiply by the reciprocal. What that means is three quarters multiplied, which is the opposite of divide, the reciprocal, which is the opposite of one quarter. And then you, you can use cross simplifying to make three over one times one over one, which is simply three. And finally, if we look at question F, two thirds divided by one half, again, multiply by the reciprocal, two thirds times two over one. Multiply the numerators, two times two makes four. And three times one, denominators is three, which is four thirds. Thank you for watching and do check out the website for the full lesson.